Insomniarch, in case um, you should consider, or I, I would at least give it a, at least check it out instead of pulling the trigger on building a rebounder. I forget the two brands you said. I would check out an SKLZ Star Solo Kick Trainer, and it's more. I think it's more fun than a, than a rebounder because once you have that rebounder built, that thing is a heavy tool, right? You, you can't bring that. You know, it's hard to bring that to practice. You can't bring that on international flights. You can't bring it on domestic flights without. You know, that thing is unwieldy. With the Star Kick Trainer by SKLZ. You can cram months of training into days, weeks, because it's hyper portable. You could throw it in your backpack, go to school. Um, you could use it with your son. So, so for all those reasons, you know, it probably lays weighs less than um, a, a pound, if that, you know, a couple ounces. And in ten minutes of walking around the block, if you do, if you get sixty, if you get sixty touches in sixty seconds, that means in fifteen minutes you get close to twelve hundred touches. So. It, you know, in a, in a soccer game, you're not going to get, you, you, you barely get 200 touches in a soccer game, right? So those touches are precious. So if your question is, what's better, two different rebounders or a solo kick trainer that's in the hand? I mean, I think a, a wall at times might be better than a kick trainer. And, you know, there's some ways that rebounders can be effective. But I think in terms of hyper portability, the cheapness and and effectiveness it's 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 getting a perfect pass played to your feet every time and it's great for young players because you can immediately adapt you can immediately self correct if you feel that you, you get a poor touch right you don't have don't hit the sweet spot literally half a half a second later you can adjust to where now you're feeling what great contact feels like so for all those reasons i really think Using a kick trainer is more effective than using rebounders, at least for beginners. But there's this also this balanced timing, rhythm, and coordination aspect. You know, there's a reason why, you know, Wesley Schneider talks about using kick trainers growing up. AC Milan, Ajax, and Sevilla all encourage their youth players to use them. So this is not a new idea. So I think it's definitely worth your time to check that out if you're considering investing time and energy into uh, building a rebounder or buying rebounders. So hopefully this helps. All right, thank you.